Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So I'm recording this after the last episode. We've jumped systems, and you notice our our, our uh, annual report here is less than what it was what it used to be. It's like about seventy five thousand less. So I've done a few things kind of uh, on the jump over here. Um, we do need to manage our C bills quite a bit. We're down to two hundred and four thousand after the financial report and everything, and after I sold a bunch of junk. So, I mean, we're okay right now. We've got 22 days of the financial report, and there are, if we go to the command center here, there are four missions here that we can take. These first four, I think, should be no problem. Um, before we go too much farther, I also want to check the barracks just to see if our pilots have got anything we can crank up. Uh, heat, less heat. I think we're going to wait. I think we'll go gunnery. I mean, it's always nice to have that 5% less heat generation, but right now on the mech that Infiltrator is piloting, it's not necessarily needed, so we're going to wait and we're going to take gunnery. Helion is just back, um, so we're going to go with piloting on her. Uh, we've got just enough. Um, fire maneuver is always good. Uh, Gundal, I think. Okay, let's bring up this. Fours across the board. All right, Goofy, how are you doing? You're you're slowly gaining. Uh, Duck is just gaining some stuff by sitting in the bays, and Dallas is fine. Okay, so. Let's go right to the mech bays because I did make a bunch of changes and let's have a quick look at what we've got here. So we're down to five mechs and what I decided to do was I pulled the mongoose completely out of service um, and because we needed to redo the kit fox here. So let's have a look at the kit fox. We lost a couple of double, clan double heat sinks off this guy so it made it a lot less uh, viable um, to maintain the four ER mediums and the ER large. So I I basically moved over the mongoose's loadout to this mech. So we've got five medium lasers and a, and a medium laser magna now in here. And the heat sinking is actually really good. So we're gonna leave it as this for now. Now I've got the tag barrage on here as well. I wanna see how this plays out. Uh, and we're gonna give this mech to, um, oh yeah, the other thing is I added two more jump jets. So we're going to give this mech to Goofy to see how he does now in this one. It's basically the same load as he had with the Guardian ECM as well in here. Uh, the rangefinder moved over to this mech as well. So he's got better base sight, dis dice sight distance and everything. So that's this mech. Um, and then, let's see, the Jenner, I basically just added a um, uh, the gunnery support A in the cockpit, which we had left over. Firefly stayed the same. The urban mech stayed the same. Now the only thing we've got is the Hollander, which is back in three days. So I'll show you that after this mission. Now this mech, um, I was able to put the um, the uh, AC-10 that we had in here, the um, oh God, the LBX in here, plus a couple of ER mediums and an SRM-6. That's the uh, um, the Valiant SRM-6 that we had that does 10 damage per missile. That's just basically the close range defense, but the two ER mediums and the auto cannon are the main armaments on this thing. Uh, it's relatively heat efficient as long as we're not firing everything. If we leave the SRM-6 off, everything can fire without a problem. Uh, as soon as the SRM-6 comes on, then we're overheat, but uh, I think this mech will be fine. Now, I'm not sure exactly why it's blue, but I didn't get a chance to change the, change the paint scheme on this guy yet, so that's this one. And the other thing that we're missing here is the Grinner, which I put in the storage. It did not have an engine in it. And because we are um, having a hard time right now with C-Bills, I didn't want to leave it out um, and just have it sit there and not do anything. So that's the reason why our C-Bills are lower now is both the uh, Mongoose and the and the, um, the, gr the Grinner have been put into storage. Now I can build urban mechs, but the problem with bur building these urban mechs, I want to put this one together because it's got uh, three ER, or sorry, three PPCs on it. Uh, but the problem with it is, is that if we do this, um, you'll notice that it's 268,000 to be able to put this together and we don't have it. Um, so yeah, we can't really do too much with these mechs right now. Um, so everything else is just going to kind of stay as it is until we get some C-bills to be able to do that. So the, the main goal of this episode will be to make our financial report. Uh, so we're going to take a couple of um, missions for Clan Wolf today. So let's go to the command center. And we're going to start off, I think, with raiding party. Uh, basically a government lance dropped in and um, we're supposed to defend the area against that. So we can do that without a problem. So let's negotiate this. 
and we'll go full salvage. It's only 204,000, but our drop cost is far less than that. Um, and we're going to run, okay, let's bring the Kit Fox down, Goofy down, and Gundal's going out. Um, Dallas will stay in the Irby, and we'll bring Helion in the Firefly, I believe. Let's just bring the rankings up here. And we'll run this mech, or this uh, loadout, and see how we do. It's only 72,000 for the drop, which is great, so let's deploy and get it done. All right, here we go. Uh, they're up on the hill. That's fine. Only local, only good local government is dead local government. Yeah, all right. Sure. That's what you think. So what do we got on our side? We got a Locust 2C, a Locust uh, Kit Fox, and Svantovit. Let's go see if we can find him. Um, let's go up at the flank here. Nothing yet. What's the plan? Certainly. All right. Helian, nice to have you back. Affirmative. I'm I thought about changing out. We, we have an ER large. I thought about changing out the regular large um, in the uh, Firefly here, but I think I'm going to be re redoing the loadout soon enough. So I just decided to not do it and spend the extra C bills on it. So that's the reason why it's not there. All right, uh, let's walk it up. Embrace. Okay, what do we got here? Fire truck. Centurion. 17%, eh? Oh, of course they are. Huh. get up here we're moving away from the re reinforcements so it's we're not that bad off I think the reinforcements come in from the right so I think they come in from this direction if I'm not mistaken I think the tag will work here. So let's bring that down on the Centurion if we can. Nice. Oh yeah. That's not good. What's this guy? Another fire truck. Right here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Let's get up over here. Yep. Now. Narc launcher haywire, two fluid guns. You're the standard loadout, I believe. AC-10, two rocket 10s. Machine guns and fluids. Let's take a shot at this guy. Centurion's really the threat. Okay. We should be able to do some significant damage next turn. We should be able to get in close enough with our mediums and our streaks. Oh, he's moving up, making it easy for us. 
He's got his right side turned to us, which I think is where the AC is, so we're going to burn through the right side. Come on, what you doing? So this tag shot only works one, once every three turns. Which is fine by me, it's kind of nice. Alright Dallas, let's see if we can get up and get this Centuri on. And make him a Centuri off. Alright, let's get in range. Hammer him. Wow, bad chances to hit. But we'll take it. See if we can get the tag on. Doesn't look like it. Well, here comes the reinforcements. Ooh. What were they shooting? Those are definitely MRMs. Okay, how close can we get to this guy? Without being in an unstable zone. Let's get you up here. Nice chances to hit. Taking him. All right, a few hits, not bad. Okay, Pirate Locust. Arctic Fox, okay. Ow. Yeah, that was a good hit. Where do we take it? Torso. Oof. As much as I want the back shot, we're going to take the side shot. I want to burn through the side if I can. Oh, a bunch of hits. Nice. Thought I saw a direct line of sight there. There we go. Not really direct, but direct enough. I think that's just a move. Confirm. Wow, really? Locking on and firing it all. Well, one hit. Oh, it looked like a head hit, too. It's going to be a good fight. I was going to say we definitely could have used the Hollander in this one, but that AC, I don't know. We've only got slug ammo for it, for the LBX, so I don't know, man. We're doing a lot of missing. I could have bought um, cluster ammo for it, but um, it was 100,000 in the store, and I just, I don't, you don't have the C bills right now. Okay, he's trying to protect himself. So we've got three pulse lasers too that I haven't put in anything yet. I want to do it, but I just haven't got the ability to do it just yet. Vedette, so we got to take this guy out. The Centurion's got to go first, though. Okay, moving up on the flank here. Locust is moving in, hopefully to his death. I 
I mean, we've got good guys with us. Hopefully they can capitalize. Come on, what are you doing? Yeah, you keep moving down there. All right. Um, you have I do. You cannot be in the open. We need the trees. We need the trees. Okay, firing. Well, not too bad, I guess. He is stressed. How's he doing here for armor? He's getting down there. It's going to be two more turns, I think, of shooting through that side. So I think we'll leave... Uh, I don't think she's going to be able to get there, is she? To the side attack? Oof. Really? Huh. No, we need full movement here. Alright, well, it's not the best position, but we'll take it. Gonna go after the Centurion. Okay, not bad, not bad. Could have been way worse. Not the best either, but we're going to take it. Go after this guy. Oh, good chances to hit and firing. Beautiful. Beautiful. One turn earlier than expected. Two hundred seventy-two armor, huh? Four sixteen. Okay, his missiles are gone. So he had rocket launchers. Dealing with armor breach over here. Leave me alone. Too close to our own guys. Huh. Vedette Von Tees, huh? Alright, let's just hit this guy. Handful of points, but good enough. Guys, move closer and shoot them with some direct fire. All right, Goofy, we gotta kill this vedette. Um, 96, 80, and 68, huh? Yep, let's come around this way. I think we get the uh, artillery back next turn. Okay, firing from the backside. Oh, beautiful hits. Okay, we should be able to take this guy out this turn.
Move up. Let's get some direct fire on this fire truck. Yeah, I think pulling the, lar I don't know, large and LRM off this thing and changing the weapon systems around a bit. I know we put it on because the vehicle is relatively slow, or the, the mech is relatively slow. And the other thing we could do is put a second LRM-15 in it. And just turn it into a missile platform. Just use it, depending on the mission we want to take it on. Just have it as the uh, the fifth mech. Because I want to put uh, Helion in the, um, in the Hollander. Okay, what are we doing here, guys? Come on. Oh, the Vedette goes before uh, Infiltrator does, which is bad. I wonder if he'll try and take off. No, he doesn't. Okay, I thought he went on 18. I guess he went first, probably. See ya, uh, wouldn't want to be ya. Uh, Bye-bye. Okay. All right, firing. I think we got the tag on. Who are you firing at? Sure. Dude, you're on fire. Beautiful. Taking a lot of front damage. Well, not a lot, but a bit. Okay, Pirate Locust is backing up. Come on. So I kept all those rocket launcher 20s. They're, they're heavy weight. But they do six damage each per missile. So I don't know, maybe we should uh, look at employing those somehow. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, there's my target. Yes. Reporting critical hit. Yeah. Roger that. Geothermal firing. Missed the large, huh? Really? I think I hit something special there. I think you did too. I think Infiltrator should be able to finish this guy up. How much is left here on the side? Not much. Uh, forget it. I'm going to target this guy. And we'll let, uh, we'll let Goofy take care of that one. And firing. Oof, that's it, eh? One out of three. Okay, we should be able to finish up these two vehicles in relatively short order. And then get down there and find out what else is with those two locusts.
Oh, sorry, the Locust and the... Um, oh, God, I can't even remember what the name of the other one was. Ice Helion, right? Arctic Fox. I knew it was cold. Cold something. <laughs> Let's finish this truck up. Uh, all right. So tired, guys, most of the time. Oh, my God, you didn't kill him? Dude. Thank you. Doing what we couldn't. All right, Dallas. Commander? No trees over here. Let's push it a bit. All right. Okay, we got two on site. Let's remove this guy. All are good. Beautiful. Reporting. Enemy vehicle I was not expecting the kill, but we'll take that. Ooh, I think our tag's back up. I think our tag is back up. It is. It's the only thing in range, too. Want to barrage that locust? We sure do. Now, I don't know if we're going to experience anybody else. It might just be these two mechs. Okay, so some good hits there. I think we penned. Yeah. Don't shoot me in the back. Wow, the large hit. Impressive. I don't think he did. <laughs> These guys back here are like, alright, you guys got this. We're just going to sit over here. <laughs> we tied him up for you. Clean him up for us, will you? That's what's your job. Why, that's why, <laughs> why are we here shooting at them? We hired you to take care of the problem. Oh, okay. Trying to, trying to steal the kill out from under me here. So we'll have some Arctic fo Fox parts to take out of this one. Centurion parts, good choice, I think. I think we're probably only going to get one Centurion part. But I think we, um, I think we have an Arctic Fox part? Or is it an Arctic Cheetah? I think. I'm not 100% sure. But if there's a Clan XL engine, we're definitely going to be going for that. All See ya. Enemy mech destroyed. Oh, they got another guy back there somewhere. They got another guy back there somewhere. Wonder if he's off the map board. Yes, Commander. Stay in the trees, please, Dallas. Nothing, huh? What do they have back there? There was something that did significant damage early on, so I gotta figure out what that was. I'm listening. 
It's spread out in case it's like one of those tag artillery systems. Okay, we can see him, but he's out of range. I mean, I guess we could put the clan pulse lasers on this, on the uh, Kit Fox. Let's close that gap. And right in that tree. Yeah, really? Okay, not bad, not bad. Critical hit, Commander. Not bad. Please don't be the kid fox. Yeah, there's probably somebody stuck off the map board. I really hope Infiltrator can go before this guy because I want to put, uh, yep, a whole bunch of streaks into the backside. Stay in the trees. I know we're clumping up a little bit, but... Well, that's nice. Uh, where is he going to be? Okay. Still don't see him anywhere. Commander. I telling it, yes I am. How might I help? Um Huh, okay. Waiting for orders. Where are you? Copy that, Commander. Oh, there you are. Anubis. Alright, one hit. I thought he was stuck off the map board, but he doesn't seem to be. Could just be stuck in a rock or something? No, he's moving. Ow. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. I got it. Don't think. Don't shoot. Just run. Here you go. I wonder what his loadout is. Wonder if it's streaks. Well, that didn't work out. Ah, uh, we don't know yet, eh? Yes, Commander. You're a little bit out of position. Of course. Oof! Really? Oh, the barrage is back. Let's fire it off. Got a bit of fire damage to him. Still nothing, huh? He's gonna shoot me. How are we doing here? This is bad. We gotta keep our left side to him. We'll deal with the flames. Damn it. I'm receiving you. Got it. Full speed, no target. 
No, target this guy. Nice. Target acquired. Beautiful. Damn it! Okay, just in case he shoots at me, I got my side protected. Oof! What is he packing? He didn't move, so... Two missile, two energy. What the hell does he have? Alright, blast him. One up his nose, please. Copy that, Commander. Stealth destroyed. That hit Target acquired. Commander. Let's get our stability back. Hammer him. Affirmative. There we go. Beautiful. That was a tough bastard. Mission successful. All right, 131,000 payout. We're going to be doing a fair bit of repairs here. We didn't lose anything. I mean, a leg, but we can fix that. Yeah. Yeah, easily fixable. We'll leave the Firefly out to this next battle. So we got two Anubis parts, Arctic Fox parts. Three Arctic Fox parts. I mean, we could take that Mac. Here's the issue, though. We can't build it. We don't have the sea bills to build it. So, MML risk. Three tons. LRM or SRM ammo. Capable of indirect fire with LRM. Flat 15% chance to jam, though. Mitigated by gunnery. Can't explode for six damage. Okay. Narc launcher. Artemis system. Four percent improved called shot. Not bad. We are looking for sea bills here, unfortunately. Artemis four. Oh, ballistic plus. Okay, we're taking that because that's an immediate upgrade for our um, Hollander. Fire control system TC Mark II grants breaching shot, provides plus one invasion pips ignored. <sighs> so much good stuff. Tracker sensors. Plus four accuracy, extreme range, plus the same. I mean, that's awesome too, right? Minus one accuracy at short range, but we're already getting good accuracy at short range. This is great for our, for long range weapons, man. I know everybody's probably screaming at this moment. Take the mech parts. Take the mech parts. We need sea bills. The problem with this is that if we take the mech parts, I can't assemble the mech to be able to sell it, and even if I assemble the mech, I'm it's probably only going to be sold for what I'm assembling it for. So I'm not making any money on it at all unless we get parts on it. If we don't get any parts on it, then, you know, we're screwed. 
Let's just roll the dice and see what we get. Okay, Arctic Fox and Locust Part. Meh, ER Medium, not bad. MML7, Internal Combustion Engine, Sellable, Omni Part Lower Arm, not bad. Okay, well. Alright, let's have a look here. 29,000, so well, 30, almost 30,000. Five days for repair, that's fine. Uh, let's manage our tasks a bit better. Let's bring the Hollander up uh, and the Firefly down. Because we need these two for the next mission. So let's go ahead and get those up and snuff, up to snuff here. Pause and let's look at the bays because I want to put that. Here we go. Uh, first of all, let's see if we can get a better color scheme. Probably not. Does not look that way, does it? Sure. Sure, why not? Uh, let's have a look here. We want to put that... Um, where are you here? Equipment. So here's our loadout. We've got the fire control system ballistic. Let's put that in. Set of the standard clan. Uh, tracker sensor. Bonus for medium ranges. I mean, if we stay at medium range... Huh, interesting. This is one day. Now, you know what? I think what we have is okay. The Slick Suite and the Battle Computer plus one initiative for all lance mates, plus three initiative, well, plus two for this one, plus one for this one, so it's plus three initiative for all lance mates. I think that's going to help out. So we've got two ER mediums, um, the SRM6 Valiant and the LB10X with two tons of ammo. So I think it'll probably be more than enough for this thing. Um, put the Clan Endosteel in as well, or sorry, Clan Ferrofibrous. So, yeah, let's go. Let's just do that. It's only one day. We'll get that back and then we'll be able to jump into battle. Uh, no, we won't, apparently. Okay, now, uh, base. Let's, there's someone who lost the foot actuator. It was this one. Okay. Let's just repair that real quick. Oh, zero days. Their money. Right. Job's done, Commander. Cool, thank you. All right, so, uh, Command Center. We're going to go after mopping up, I think, next. Let's negotiate this. We won't, we made 100000 on that one. That's not bad. Plus, we got some parts to sell. So let's go this route. Uh, we're going to drop the Hollander. We're going to pull the f Firefly out or Urban Mech out. Uh... Yeah, let's pull the Firefly out. Hollander in. Let's do this. Alright, here we go. Last known position of the enemy lance. Yeah, I see this Hollander looks like it should be carrying a uh, rack on that shoulder. Alright, Goofy, you're up. Let's go find out what we got up here. When do you get you a faster mech? What do we got here? Urban mech RHW? Uh, we want to barrage them? No, I think we hold off. I want to see what else we have here yet. We got eyes on, which means we can fire from long range. We got several mechs that can do that, so let's just move over here. ECM protected. Let's just take some pot shots. Nothing. Infiltrator. He's the infiltrator. Mm. I don't think I want to get out in the open. Still don't know what else we're up against yet. Oh wait, we got a little chevron back here, but I don't see it anywhere. Oh, that's this guy, I guess.
Come on, what are you guys doing? What do we got back here? Is it the same lance? Locust two C's? Spanovitz and whatever the hell that guy is? Nice! Arctic Fox, is that the same lance we had last time? I think it is. I'm listening. Yep. Wow. We got lots of ammo. What, it's 10 shots per ton? Really? I thought it was 8 shots per ton for the LBX. Yeah, well. Give, it to him, then. give him what? You didn't give him anything. So help me. You're just displaying the goods that you could be giving him. Christ, our escort's doing all the work. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Turd B and what else? You know what? I think I just had a brain fart. I'm wondering if the cost of the mech is only there because I don't have all the components of the same mech. So if I take three components of the same one, ow, then it shouldn't cost me anything to put it together. Right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Put it in the comments below because I'm, I, I don't know if that's right or not. Alright, what did you have? What did you hit me with? No idea. I want it though. I'm being greedy here. Uh, so what do we got over here? Our 20 urban mech with l reduced armor. Uh, oh, we got someone behind me. Another urban, which I don't know what it is. Okay. Yep. Let's see if we can burn through his side here. Okay, do we know what he has yet? I don't know. Commander. Let's not destroy what he's got. Can we see this other guy? No. Ooh. What? 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 Oh. There we go. Hmm, low chance for the LBX, I guess because it's in the torso. That's a lot of missiles. This is everything I got. I'm receiving you. Alright, Dallas. Let's get some shots on this guy if we can. Oh, his CT is significantly damaged. Affirmative. Tags on, nice. That hit something good. You have orders? Now we can't get to this guy's side. Make sure that's off. Huh. Damn it. Yeah, no kidding. You left me out hang <laughs> you left me hanging out to dry here. Don't blow the weapon up. Damn you guys. Oh you had a heavy rifle, that's it. He must have had cluster ammo or something. He bailed though, so. We might get something out of it. Well, there's those rockets I was talking about. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Yeah, thanks for showing up, buddy. <sighs> well, I took a gamble. Paid paid the price for it. This guy's gonna shoot me in the back now.
Yep. Infiltrator. He's the infiltrator. Do I have enough? I don't have enough points to st stabilize myself. Firing! Ah, a handful of damage. Alright, firing on this guy. Might as well use the barrage before the battle's over. Firing. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh, having too much fun. Um, let's get a little closer. With air extra dry. Get a little closer. Now don't be shy going through the geothermal. roll. Ugh, chances to hit are so terrible. <sighs> mm-hmm. We need cluster ammo. That's what we need. Or allies that can hit really well. He's stressed. Make him stress some more. No? Still got Dallas to go, don't we? No, apparently we don't. Guess I was lucky that time. He's fleeing the interview. Better not hit me. Now, this guy's back is probably severely... I have no idea. I'm standing right beside him and I have no idea. Really? That's what we call dealing the death blow. All See ya. Enemy mech destroyed. Mission successful. We took too much damage on that. If I hadn't tried to move forward like that, try and claim that, I should have realized it was just a... Uh, a rifle or something. All right. Um, do we go with that small cam laser? Fifteen damage. What's the range? Two twenty. Gotta be really close for that, eh? Three heat though. Point two five tons. They need ammo. Lighter and generate less less heat. They need ammo, eh? Fire control system flamer. You don't really need improved jump jets. It's a nice reinforced leg, but we are once again recon sensors. Increase sensor range, increase sight range. Single heat sink. There's the chemical ammo. Yeah, we got two salvage pieces, so let's take well Guardian ECM. I want to try and get that on all my mechs. Uh, R20. I wish it said what it was compatible with. Carries an MRM-30 with two tons of ammo. Really? Let's grab that one. All right, two, we got what, extra mech part, which is all right. A couple of flamer double pluses, really, okay. Bunch of heat sinks, which you can probably sell, reinforced leg, standard fusion, ah, okay. All right, let's see what we got here. 24,000 repairs. A little more than I was hoping for in five days, really, eh? All right, well, we're going to end the episode here, guys. Uh, I will get this stuff repaired. Let's manage our tasks a little better. 
Let's get the Jenner up. So we'll have everything back in four days, um, including our pilots. we got two more missions to pull off, which we could do in the middle of next episode. Why are we having more per month? Oh, because we're collecting shiz. I should sell off some stuff between episodes too. Crap mech parts that we're never going to use, like stingers and stuff. All right, so we will do that um, between episodes. When we come back next time, we'll try and pull out the two next, two more missions, and hopefully we'll have enough C bills to make the monthly financial report. I don't know. We'll have to see. But yeah, I'm going to end the episode there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you all later.